your Thursday tutorial. Um, I think we're kind of giving away what we're going to be doing. Uh, it is Valentine's this weekend. So, Ooh. oh yeah. Oh, don't forget the cube. Cube love. Cube love. There we go. So, if you want to get yourself a pack of balloons, um, I can pop a link in below where I get my supplies from. You can get a uh, hundred balloons and a pump for a tenner. It's it's cheap and they're professional quality. Don't go to eBay and buy a hundred balloons for a pound because you won't make anything with them other than lots of dead worms, all right? So don't do it. I'll pop you a link in. And if you want to make uh, your loved ones or your family members something special for this Valentine's, we're going to show you what to do. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to start off nice and simple. Let's get the red out. Oh, let me guess. Roses are... Blue. No, red. So are we going to make some roses? Not to start with. Oh. Not to start with. The disappointment. We will make a rose. It's probably the we... only rose I'll get started. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to do roses, just not straight away. So, as before, always give it a stretch, warm it up. Now we're going to blow this balloon up pretty much most of the way. There we go. Thank you. Always give it a little bit of a wind, because this part of the balloon will always fill up more than the rest of the balloon, because that's where the oxygen is going in. So we just squeeze out that bit to make it nice and even. You make it look so easy. There we go. Big long strokes, Andy. Is that enough? Now, see, yeah, that's cool. And it's literally just like a finger. There we go, at the end. Just a little, just a little, just a little bit. That's all we need. So, knock your balloon. And what we're going to do, we're going to give it a bit of a stretch as well. So, I'm just going to. Um, what am I doing again? I'm doing a lover. I'm doing a lover. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be like this, but that doesn't look much like a lover, does it? No. No? Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the two ends, we're going to tie them together. Any particular way? Just however you wish however to tie. However you can tie them together. Yeah. Okay. But try and tie underneath the knot that you've previously knocked. We're going to need that in a minute. Underneath the knot we've already got. Yeah. And we've still got a little bit there because you're going to need that to finish this off in a minute. Awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to find the centre of our balloon. So you've got your two ends together, you're just going to go up. There's my middle, mm -hmm. where I've got it. And I'm going to bring that down and pinch it. Okay, I'll try and hold it together and give it a screw like that. It's starting to look more like a love heart already. I'll try and keep them as in line as much as possible. Why they've gone from different tracks. Now, as I'm holding that, you can see that love out oh, effect. Yeah, yeah. But these bits won't stay if I let go of that. Right, it's actually oh, not too bad. Cute. But to really make sure it stays, I'm just going to run and stretch. So I'm almost forcing that bend in. So as I hold this, squeeze it, and just stretch where I want the curve to be. And I'm just pulling it, it's not being too gentle with it. There you go, it's going to make. So really, that bit in the middle, give it, give it a pinch and a twist. Uh, this is a friction twist, so I'm just grabbing it, twisting it, and that will make it even stronger. There you go, that's coming. How much? He's got it. And if you want to make more of these curves, you can always just give them a, a little week as well. There you go, look. There you go, that's cool. That's a heart. We can see it's a heart. It's fine. It's a little bit of practice. That's all it's going to need. It's a little bit of practice. There's another technique to try. All these different ways. And we're just trying to force the shape into the balloon. But actually, look up. That's not really going to do anything. It's not making any effect at the minute. Other than a backdrop. I'm a perfectionist. 
good. We'll go with that. There we go. It's blue magic. You don't have the magic touch, it would appear. Oh. There we go. It's, it's staying, it's staying. Now we need a base because we want it actually stand for the table, so we're going to go with red again. Okay, red again. Now we're going to blow this one a little bit less than the previous one okay. to look in to have kind of like a four finger tail at the end. Okay. Or five fingers. Definitely no less than four. There we go, I'll just show you. There's my four, five finger tail, that's awesome. Just let a little wind out of here. Bit more, bit more, one more. That should do, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to make a do some petal twists. Petal twists. Petal twists, which is how you will make your basic flower. Okay. And all you're going to do for a petal twist, we want them sort of like again, we well measure in our fingers, but it's all proportionate to your hands. Yeah. So I'm going to use four fingers. Four fingers. And I'm going to bend my balloon. So I've got this. And okay. You can see that four fingers long. Yeah. I'm now going to twist my balloon and I'm going to wrap the knot around it. Okay, so twist it and then wrap the knot. Yeah. So I'm wrapping it, see that I'm wrapping it in. And now what I need to do is called lock it. I'm going to lock the knot. So, see that hole? Yeah. I'm taking the knot and pulling it through. That will not now go anywhere. Definitely won't go anywhere. Oh, revenge. Now we're going to repeat that as many times as we can. Okay, but what, how, what part, or how will we use the locking? Well, what you're going to do next time is you're going to twist them on themselves. Ah, I see. So I use it to size it up. So look, I'm grabbing this one. Yeah. And I'm going to size my next petal up. Oh, cool. By wrapping it around the same shape. Show you what best I can from this angle. Yeah. I've put the twist in. So I've already got the twist there. Can you see that? And now, twist the petals together. And then we're going to repeat it again. Cool. What you want to do now is you want to give it a squeeze. So we're eventually going to fill this spare bit of balloon up by giving it a squeeze each time. Oh, okay, cool. But now I'm going to be a little less careful. I'm not going to put the preparatory twist in. Partly because I know what I'm doing. But you can keep putting this little twist in, but I'm just going to grab two of my three petals yeah. and give it a twist. I've now got three. Awesome. Do it again. Size up again. So one petal, size up a new petal. I'm going to give that a twist. I'm going to grab old petal, new petal, twist them together. So now I've got four. And so is Andy. Yay! Okay. Now, Andy, you're only going to get five out of yours, which is what I always wanted as my ideal size. Okay, so five petals I think is like the bare minimum. I'm going to go again, I've got my old petal, my new petal, I'm going to twist them together and I'm running through. Oh, here, look, it's a flower. Oh, I don't have a stem. You don't need a stem. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did say you would only get that. I've actually got enough left over, I can give it a squeeze. I'm going to get a sick one out of mine, I just need a little bit. Enough to hold on to to give it a twist. These ones are a little bit bigger, but that's okay. That's Let's okay. turn around. Not every pedal is the same size, I suppose. No. So I've just managed to get a new one in there, size it all up. Oh, amazing. And now I've just got six in mine. Yeah? If you only get four, you only get four. If you get five, for years I was happy with a five. And then my proportions got a little bit better and I got more familiar, and I'll do a six. All right? Um, it can look really nice if you go like a two finger or a three finger, oh. you can make like eight petals. Oh, wow. And that's a really lovely tight flower. But this is all we need because we need this to be the base for our love art. Now, there's two options. You've got some leftover nozzle here, which you can just pull in. And it's done. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. 
Or if you want it to be just a little bit more secure, you can actually put the petal inside the lover and then push. I'm going to do it back front. I don't know if I can do it back front, but I'm going to try. So the petal inside the lover, and I'm going to pull the lover through the middle of the petal and then just straighten my petal back up. There you go. Boom. Yeah. And it should stand up. It might need a little bit of adjusting just because of oh yeah, cool. twists and stuff. There we go, that one should stand now. It's actually not standing because it's sticking to my hand for static, there we go. Simple as that. It's a bit lopsided, but that's okay. First attempt, it's not bad. Now, I don't have any of these because one, I'm losing air, not growing it long enough for it to fall in front of my eyes. But if you've got an air band at home, like Andy, lots of air, I'm sure you've got an air band, like one of those. Oh, a headband. Like, head, headband, sorry, yeah. yeah. You've got a scrap of balloon like this. Put this on top of the headband, tie that through and around the headband, you can wear that on your head. Oh, that's cute. I can even just do this. Yeah. Oh, or even just use a balloon to tie it around your head. There you go. So you've got a little love heart head, headwear um, for the for the cute party, cute disco this Friday night. You could all be wearing love hearts. Yeah. Turn it into well, a Valentine's party. We should, that's a good idea, good shout. Make it a Valentine's yeah, party. Yeah, val Valentine's party. Wear your reds, that's it. Yes! With Everyone, all that love. Everybody's got to wear red. Cube Club this week is themed red. Yeah. we just got to tell uh, Zoe that she's got to change all her light bulbs to red ones. <laughs> Alright? So, yes. Love art. But, we're going to take and just show you how we can turn this base into a flower quickly as well. Um, so we need green for our stems. Green one for you. Thank you. I'm going to make I'm going to make a different colour flower because we've already got plenty of red out there. Just so your eyes don't go funny. I love this. I'm not sure what's this pink called. Magenta. Uh, magenta? Wild berry pink. Ooh, I love this. Do you want a wild nice. berry? Yes, please. I have a wild berry. Love I love this, this colour. So we're going to make the petal twist again. Okay. So how you made your base. We're gonna make that first of all. So we're just gonna repeat the same process. Make your petal, I've gone for three things this time, so I'm looking to, I'm seeing if I can get any more petals in there. See if I can run it. You twist it and wrap the knot around it, and once again, hold, pull it through. If I look a little bit slyly over that way, Josh is going. <laughs> at what we're doing over his laptop. And then it's repeat, repeat, repeat. So I'm using the previous petal, size it up, give it a squeeze, I twist it because it's the first one, I've got no petals to follow through with, and pull them around. And then repeat, size up, squeeze, twist and pull them through together. And keep repeating. Old petal, new petal, give oh, it a I'm squeeze, twist. That's okay. We already know you can make a good flower. Can I go back to this one? I don't know how I'm twisting. So I'm doing the same process every time. Get a previous petal, new balloon, give new balloon a squeeze, and then twist new petal and old petal together. Or oh, I'm not going to get any more. Oh no, I might. not going to go. So I'm just going to pop the end. Oh yeah, I remember you taking oh. that last time. There we go. Let the air out. And all I'm going to do now is just knot that in round and around as many times as I wish. Make sure it's all nice and secure and no air is going to escape. And Andy's just proving a good point there. If it goes wrong, then do it. 
Just do the twist it. Start again. There we go. I've ended up with six petals. I thought I was going to get seven. But I've ended up with six. And the got five. You might get six. six I think. You might find that a little bit tight. But five's good, we know five's good. Yeah? Five. Yeah, five. Five it is. So you just need to pop the end off that. And then just wrap the, the loose part of the balloon around. Stick your finger. That's it. That's it, you got it? Put your thumbs in two opposite directions and it's going to go. Go on, you got it, you got it. So push this thumb into the balloon yeah. and that thumb away from it. Oh, it's really hitting my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it, it's not working, I'm not strong like you. Give it, let me give it a twist. Twist it, then do it. Go on, you got it, you got it. Oh, it actually scares me. Oh, worst case scenario. Get ready to do it for you. <laughs> and then, as I said, I'm going to do it just so we don't lose any air. We just wrap that in and out, knot it around, makes the flower nice and secure, and also we you know it's not going to be flame. There we go. Okay, thank you. There's two ways to just straighten it up like that. There we go. Now that is a sufficient flower, but what I tend to do sometimes is just put the flowers on a bit of a twist, the petals on a little one. Oh wow! It just That's makes cute. a tiny little, it's a tiny little difference, but it does look a little bit yeah. more flower-like. Yeah, yeah. And all I did was just a slight twist, so they sort of sit in each other. Right. Now, over to the stem. So we're going to blow this up again pretty much all the way because we're going to use most of the balloon. It's kind of like two fingers at the end. You got it? Yeah. yeah. It That's okay. It's okay. That's fine. So now for, so we're going to give this flower to somebody. So they need a, a handle to hold on to. So uh -huh. we're just going to size up what we think is a, a good enough space for them to hold on to. Yeah. Pinch where you want the handle to stop and pop a twist in. Yeah. Give it three or four twists just to make sure it's going to be nice and secure. Now, some people do two petals here, some people do three petals, the choice is yours. And basically, how we make the flower, we're going to do it again now. Okay? I'm going to put, we'll make it a little bit smaller, I'm going to put three petals in. So I've gone for four, five fingers there, one petal. I'm going to use the green balloon to size up my next petal. Put them in on each other. Let's have a look at what we've got. We've still got plenty of balloon there. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop in a third petal. But it now looks a bit like a sword. With our petals at the end. Now I don't want my flower pointing to the ceiling, so I'm gonna go sort of six fingers from the end of the balloon. Fill the balloon up. I'm going to bend it. Friction twist. So it's now going off almost on a right angle. There you go. Awesome. Two fingers from the end. Put a little twist in. So now I've got handle, petals, long stem, and a little ball at the end. Keep hold of that, that ball. Because what you're going to do now, in that gap that you've made, that little crease, oh, yeah. you're going to push the flower onto it. So I'm going to do it here, so I normally like to watch what I'm doing, but I think this is going to work for you guys. I'm just feeding it into the gap between the petals. There we go. And there's your flower. There you go. Ah. It's going to be a red flower, yellow flower, whatever you want to do. You can make a whole bouquet of these and hand them to people. Um, this is yeah. very cute. What it is possible to do, which I've done in the past and I won't do now because it just takes quite a while, 
is to make a base like that. And then if you fold your green balloons in two, you can put two flowers on and thread it into the base. And then you can do that like three or four times and you have like six flowers oh. on a base. So yeah, there you go. For Valentine's. Oh, thank you for you. Oh, you shouldn't oh. have, bless you. <laughs> Yours is no. much prettier than I think, I think I got the short straw in that deal. But. <laughs> so it's all about the thought. It's all about the thought. <laughs> but Andy really wanted, she didn't want. What would you say this flowers? I don't know flowers. I'd say this is a gerbra. A gerbra? Yeah. I thought you were going to say gerbil for me. I was really confused. A gerbra. She didn't want a gerbra, she wanted roses. Are you making roses? We're going to make roses. No. This is the trickiest thing we've done so far, but we're going to make roses. It's got to be a red rose. All right? Free stretch for Thank you. There we you. go. Now we're going to blow this up for, again, five, six fingers okay. from the end. And everyone else. You don't ask, also you don't. I'm done. So we're going to start by coming up to the balloon. Oh, I actually made a mistake. We should have left the longer knot than normal, but that should be fine. Normally, I'm not going to make blow up another balloon, we can do it with this. Normally leave a longer, Tail than required, just it will make sense in a minute. So I'm going to come up four fingers and I'm going to pop a twist in. Yeah? Yeah. Now we're going to do a pinch twist. Now we did the pinch twist when we made the crown. Yeah, I remember that. These are kind of like two finger bubbles, give it a squeeze before you twist it. They're about so big. Fold the balloon over so you've got the bubble in the middle of the two parts of the balloon. And is it got a bit of flex? You gave it a squeeze before you twisted it. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I see you squeezing it. Now what you're going to do is pinch, I'll do it from this side, and pull the balloon away from the two lengths. So you've got this little kitty bean shape. And give that a few twists. That's one of three. So we're going to do that again. Okay. So I've got my two finger bubble. I'll give it a squeeze so it's soft as I twist it. Once I've got the bubble, I pull it away and I pinch it. So now I've got the first sausage, two pinch twists, squeeze it, soften it up. And I'm going to go into my third pinch twist now, so it's two fingers, squeeze it as I twist it so it's not too taut. I'm going to bring the balloon back, so I can just there, see. Yeah. And I'm pulling it out and twist it. And I'm just going to roll the balloon through those little pinch twists. So now we want to organise those so they look a little bit tidier. I'm not so happy that last pinch twist. Why is that? Not kidney beans enough for me. So I'm going to try and improve the shape on that last pinch twist. Is that okay? Yeah, you've got it right. The apprentice teaches the teacher. That would be me. So we're just going to sit them, kind of like that actually. So oh, yeah. So they're kind of sitting, a bit like the petals when I did this. Mm -hmm. where they're kind of sitting in the groove of one another. Now, you're going to make a second sausage the same length as your first one. So you're going to bend it down, put a twist so they're the same length. You've now got your three pinch twists, your two lengths, and this is why we wanted the longer, oh, yeah. the longer knot, because you're going to pull the knot, put this up as you sit, Put it around what you twist in, and then push it through the middle of those two. That's now locked in, mm -hmm. nice and secure. Yeah? Yeah. We're now going to make a third length. Give it the balloon a bit of a squeeze. And get in the same length, put a twist in it. Yeah? yeah? And you're going to pull the balloon and wrap it around those pinch twists. Yeah. 
Yeah? Now, we're now going to do... We've made this nice and soft. want it to be nice and supple now. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap around, but this needs to be really soft, the rest of your balloons. So just keep squeezing it and playing with it. And we're going to go around two wraps around the balloon. So, keep it nice and soft. So it's much smaller. You can see that it's not as fat as it would be when we first started. So lots of squidging like that. And then just keep stretching it and squidging it along. Yeah? We're now going to wrap. I'll do it this way. Do it this way. And I keep squidging it. Mm -hmm. And I'm wrapping. And I'm trying to pull the balloon nice and tight into. You want to go. Yeah, the way you tied it in, keep it going around. I'm going to keep, keep squidging. And keep pulling. When you get back to where you started, make sure it's nice and soft, tuck it underneath. Can you see that? I'm tucking it underneath where I was. Oh, okay. And I'm trying to kind of hold it and I'm squeezing it all the time. Stop it getting too long. And now I'm, I'm rolling underneath that again and I'm keep going around. Squeezing it out until I get back there a second time. Come to the camera. So I started here, and I went around, and when I got back to that point, I've gone underneath it, and I've continued to go around, and now I'm coming back to where I started. And I'm still tucking it in nice and tight, and I'm squidging it out, because what we want to do now, This is the hardest thing we've, we've taught you so far, so don't panic. And then now, I'm going to roll in here. Oh. And put, and put, get in there and then twist and push it in. Come back to it and I'm pushing it in. So I squeezed it out and I'm pushing it in. So I'm squeezing the air out of the balloon and I'm pushing it between those two segments. when you're trying to do it in the air and moving around. So then you should have this. You can see my pinch twist, then I've gone around and I've come underneath myself, squeezed the air out of it and then I've pulled it down into the balloon. So it's now holding itself up. Alright. So now again we need to snap off a bit if we want to get rid of all this extra air. Pinch it at the base because at the minute there's no knot there. Now if I had kept a long tail, I've actually got enough tail there to do it. I didn't think I would have. You're going to use the tail and the bit that you've snapped off and knot them together. I can't do it. I don't know why I can't do it. I twist it. I'm pushing it in the opposite direction. It's like my nails yeah. So you've just got to be doing that with one hand. Yeah. So the way I snap it is I grab with this one and this one goes into the balloon and pulls it apart. That should do it, that should do it. You got it, you got it. Go on. No, Go on, you. Stick your phone, stick your phone, stick your phone. Put it down, put it down, put it down, grab it, this one. Right. You did it! Oh! It's okay, you've got it. You still got it, you haven't, you still haven't lost anything. Oh. You haven't lost anything, it's still there. I lost that other little stem part. No, we didn't need that bit. Oh, we did it. No, this, this, you're knocking it off now. Oh, okay. So you tie in the knot. The valve that you use to blow it up, 
or the what is that? There we go. The, the valve that you use to blow it up and the bit that you just snapped, you're knotting them together. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. To finish the rose head off. Oh, perfect. Wasn't a complete fail then. There you um, go. There's your rose's oh, head. That's so cute. So you've got a little bit left over, and we're just going to wrap this up by making a rose petal. Now, this is this is the the cube pack. It's essential balloons. If I was doing this at home, I'd use a 160 for the stem of a, a rose, which is one size down, these yeah. two sixties. Yeah. We spoke about that last time. But my rose petals, I make different to, or it rose says, stems, I make different to these. Okay. So we're going to quickly, rather than just go, on, oh, you know how to make a, a flower stem, we're quickly just going to finish it off and show you how to do that. What's different is when you, when you look at a rose, you get the flower, there's leaves around the base of the flower. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. what we're going to do. We're not going to go in with a handle on this one. We're going to go straight in with three petals. Oh, okay. And I've gone for, how big my rose? I'm looking a little bit smaller. So oh, two, two or three fingers. I'm going with three fingers. So I made my petal. I need to lock it in, so I'm pushing the knot through the hole. So that's now locked in. Remember to twist it, then that's it. And I, I'm just going to come back and just show it again. Because Andy's struggling to get the twist. I, in the first video, I told you to try and get one hand as your builder yeah. and one hand as your twister. Yeah. And to remind you what I mean by that, by bending it over, my left hand is holding. It's my supporting hand. My right hand now is going to pinch and twist. So I've got this first of all. And once I've got that, oh, yeah. I'm then using my knot. And then as I move forward, I'm sizing up with this hand. This hand is twisted. As I hold with my left hand, my right hand is twisting the balloons together. Ah. Yeah? Blackboard. And we're going to go again. So there's three in total. Yeah, three. Twisted. So you've now got this. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your rows. You're going to get it in the middle of that, and you're going to lose, use, not lose, use the little bit that we had on the end. Oh, that's so cute! And tie that in, make it nice and tight. And if you've got, like, I've got more left over than Andy yeah. there, just push that inside the, the rows so you can't see it. Yeah? And then you've got this. There's your long stem rose. You wow. can give it to them like that, and this is why this is a bit fat. I'd like to use a size down, yeah? Or you can if you want, if you think that's too long. Snap a little bit off and shorten it down. Yeah? You can, uh, oh, yeah. that's so cute, attach it to it. Yeah, I've just done it. So, Literally, I've just bought this now as we were doing this. So we're going to do it. If you made your love up, we're going to put the row so it sits lovely in the centre, not too high so it's not touching the top. Once you've sized it up, squeeze it, twist it. Yeah, that's my size. And then just roll. So once you've got my twist in here, position it, and then roll the green balloon down into the base. Roll it around a couple of times, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Oh, that's a lovely idea, Leighton. Okay, well done, Leighton. Yeah. Again, we need to get rid of the rest, we don't need any more. And just to make sure it's nice and secure, it doesn't leak. Tie a knot in it. Or if you don't, not very good at tying knots, just thread it around and around into the base there. And that, guys, is a cube exclusive. I've never made that before. I've never thought of doing that before. It's a lovely little... That's okay. so cute. There we go. Start to shape up where the rows look best. 
Now that would look good in a hair bun. Oh, that's death cute. Yeah, I love it. I don't know how to break it. I'm really Okay, no worries. I'll start that off for it. There you go, guys. That's your Valentine balloon tutorial. I say I'll pop it in the link where to buy your balloons from. And you can uh, share love with all your friends, family, and um, pizza. Just an idea. Bye, hey, guys. Everybody, see you later. Cute love. Rose love. <laughs>